What is going on YouTube? It is Middlebury back with more of New Era, episode 13. Uh, I've been just kind of sitting here overnight. I was, I have transferred a bunch of my stuff over. I have like most of my stuff over from the old uh, base. There's the daytime bell. And about getting ready to make another uh, run over to the to the old uh, to the old bases too. Get the rest of it. I do. I just want to make sure I have everything with with me. But thank, thankfully, I've got enough books now to make uh, make grilled meat. So getting ready to getting ready to head out for the day. And I do have some. Do have a decent amount of dukes. But oh, local spider zombie wanted to say hello to me. Good morning, spider zombie. Yeah. Good Got a bit of a decent day going. I'm ready to go. Oh hey, a couple armored up books. Speaking of which, uh, for armored books, I'm hoping we can unlock uh, unlock tier three armor because that is very important at the moment. And so armor, if we're lucky, we can get tier three right now, but I doubt it. Oh, we actually unlocked tier three armor. Hey, that's perfect. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> Seven days. The reason I say that is because I am saving a skill point, and I did mention, like, we're going to save it for intellect level 9, and go for the uh, the last little bit of... get the last little bit of, um... You know, like... Because with that, I can make a tier 3 helmet like nerd helmet for making extra stuff and all that. And then I can throw in my not only my helmet volume mod, but I can also throw in intellect. I was thinking probably gonna have to search far and wide for for that for the last couple books, but thankfully not the case. And I also because it is day thirteen I do want to do a bit more prep than last time. I do want to go and grab like uh, think about starting to make make kind of like a V2 horror base. Oh, whoopsie! Looks like some oil shale all over there. But just with those, you have a so it's kind of like, and I also want to go remove some of those three land claim blocks because I realize like those are constantly kind of staying there on the map. I don't really want to see them all that much, which. I'll do those kind of off camera for you folks. Uh, that way you don't have to see. Really shouldn't take that long. It's just going to be a long Does intellect back. help with unlocking vehicles? Uh, that's a good question, Stove. Uh, intellect helps with unlocking vehicles because uh, the gr the grease monkey. Yeah, grease monkey is locked behind intellect. So it's like I'm already a three out of five and in a. Uh, Grease Monkey, and if I max out Grease Monkey, that means I have like the best chance of finding vehicle books possible. So, but no, it's like once the intellect really, like once I get that installed and I have get a couple more points, then we can really start kind of fleshing out the old uh, intellect tree here. Let's see what uh, Trader Bob has uh, like. Here just to see what he's got for stock, cause I do need something to eat quick. Trader Bob, what you got for me, buddy? All right, here we are. We buy and sell vehicles, mechanical parts, also pick up and job quick. parts, but we'll trade for other stuff um, too. I don't exactly want too much out of you. Well, We've actually, got some jobs. You must be double backbone to take this job. I'll actually take that job for to Looking the southeast. To but... Oh wow, mini have flat out mini bike for eighteen thousand dollars. I don't have that money, and besides, I think I will be close enough to have the parts for a mini bike. Besides, like, like I do have a mini bike bundle that's yeah I have sitting in my inventory, but. Food from you though, good sir. You don't don't need that. Not those. I 
could buy a water pier, a water filter mod for Mew. We can just start making. Take your, take your blueberry pie, and you know what? Big purchase, but we'll buy a couple. Come we'll buy a couple soon. things from you. There we go. That means with uh, the the old uh, what you call it, the do collector, I can actually make I can make better stuff. Oh, that a oh wow that's a that's a cougar. I was like, what is that a wolf? Come here, kitty. Oh my, I think we might have upset him. What are you, a spider zombie? Oh boy. Not the good kind either, lol. There we go. Took care of you, and... Where... Apparently my arm got broken. From, uh, from the kitty, but... Well, then again, my... My first big cat. Means more meat. <laughs> wow, can't believe that. Uh, okay. So yeah, after eat that blueberry pie, I'm gonna go and grab my stuff, folks, and uh, also clear out the land claim block, so... I'll see you folks uh, once I'm back.
Alrighty folks, so come up past her Bob again here, uh, I'm gonna wind up fast forward and all that footage for you because that's uh, a lot of time out of the day being taken. But it's like, got all the land clean blocks uh, taken care of and uh, did, have an, did have an airdrop uh, roll in for, for me, so, and it's up by the bear den, which I'll show you on the map really quick, like, this, this baby... It is way up there, and I just decided. And one thing that's really cool is you can mark, you can mark air, you know, like you can mark stuff. So, oh, bunny rabbit, hang on. While I'm explaining this, um, I'm over and covered. I know this, but yeah, you know, we'll take care of Penny here. But. Now she's taken care of. Basically, like, what you can do is, you can just, uh, what you can do is, basically you press X or A, whether it be on X, X for PlayStation or, uh, A on, uh, Xbox, and you just select your, then you just hit your icon, and it'll give you a text to, a little text bar with a cursor, and, uh, basically it'll just give you a, it'll wind up giving you the option to name your your uh, your waypoints. So that's really one thing that's handy now that we have. Uh, Legacy didn't have that at all. Like we could make we could uh, put airdrops. You know, like mark airdrops with X's. But like now, if you want to like mark different places, oh, there is another little bit there of meat. It looks like kind of. And no, that's a wolf, I believe. And ow! Take care of him really quick. Come here. You think you're escaping, but come here. Ah! <sighs> Little brat tries to escape. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I'm gonna bother chasing him down because of. Unless. Oh, he's coming back again. There we go. Got him. A little bit of extra meat. <laughs> For supper. Oh, looks like I'm dropping everything here, so. Um. Don't plan on making. I just want to pick up all the meat from this guy here. Yeah, I'm very full up on inventory, folks, but... I know I'm wasted a bit, but... I think I got all the food out of him. Yep. I know you really care about leather, but... Like I said, that's a handy feature, though, for... Just... <laughs> just to have, but... I don't think I'm going to do the infested area job for for Bob, because, uh, you know, like I was saying earlier, I want to focus on making a, making a, making a horde base, you know, want to, want to make it, uh, at least better than last time, so, which I realized what I was doing wrong for, <laughs> for my base, which was, uh, see, it's like, um, with bases, it's like, they, zombies have a destroy everything mode, and I believe it's like you have to build like 11 blocks up for for it to break the pathing, like for them to well, break the uh, destroy everything mode feature they have. But basically, like, because I was not high enough, I can just wound up doing uh, doing more harm to the base than 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 good. So it's one of those that say. Learning from my mistakes, we'll be rebuilding that, but, you know, just kind of one of those, that was a very long bicycle drive to take care of a few land claim blocks, but kind of cleans up my map a little bit. I should know that, it does let me know that there are multiple land claims you can have. I don't know what the limit is, but say if, like, you have, like, a really big POI and you, or you have, like, a really big base that you want just have land claimed or you... I want to claim like a one, 
like I say, a POI that's just huge and, you know, won't, <laughs> won't fit in one, uh, land claim, you can just place a couple more down, like, you know, and maximize your space. But here you are at our, back at our little, our lovely little house here, little cul-de-sac, and we'll just stop the mini bike there and just pull out all that and we do got a little bit of setup to do but really shouldn't take that long um we gotta place a gotta place a workbench down like a lot of it will be temporary for the time being but it's like you gotta work on some stuff just trying to remember where i go in this place because i entered through the garage I believe it's one of the staircases. <laughs> Getting lost in my own house, I tell you. Alright. Yep, here we are. Apologies if this is a little slow for you folks, but... You know, it's all part of it. Okay. Here's our lovely little ladder, and... It, it's not it's not all organized at the moment and it's just kind of like I say it's a mess but I think like this will be kind of my main uh, my main base going forward so give me give me one second and I will be back with you once I've got my stuff <laughs> placed down all right folks you know, just a short little bit later yo does take too long to place all my stuff down, but and, and uh, got you got the workstations placed back down, and I actually want to take a look at what it takes to make a take a uh, cement mixer here. Might have most of the parts necessary for it, but cement. <laughs> Whoops, cement mixer. It takes 25 forged iron. Some four springs, an engine, and some mechanical parts. Uh, it'll be mostly, it'll be mostly mixed up, like, yeah, five mechanical parts, some forged iron there, and... I don't think we have, like, quite everything, but... We're up to 21 in forged iron, like, yeah, we don't have all that, but... I digress. But getting into kind of more of the meat and potatoes of this, uh, of this particular kind of little episode, like, before I forget, let's actually take a look at this mini pike parts bundle. Okay, so, I wound up getting a mini bike chassis, and I wound up getting a mini, a mini bike, no, vehicle parts bundle, so. Oh, I just wound up getting an engine. I had basically, I had basically all the rest of the parts, but okay. Uh, let's take a look at our take a look at our um, vehicles. 14 out of 100, which is, and if we got lucky, we would have all these uh, beat doubles. 16, 17, 18. Well, we're only <laughs> at least one doubled, so not bad, really. So uh, one second while. I crab all the wood out of my... I don't have that much, but... It's better than nothing. Gotta eat and drink a little bit, and... Also work on making more, uh... Making up even more food, so... Basically like 20 minutes on that there. And... There we go, 20 minutes on the dot. Grilled meat is so much better that I don't have to like constantly drink water for it. And I have a spare spring of water there. I can make more up easily, but Alrighty. So I've been kind of thinking where I wanna build this, so it's like I kinda wanna build it at the bounds of the POI itself. This like this wouldn't be that bad like it would probably be really janky at first like until I clear out all the rest of this you know clear out the yard but the reason behind 
building it like in the bounds of the POI would be because like it is a tier three, it does increase the loot stage a little bit. Give me a, like I will knock this out really quick. So okay, take a look at our stats here. Loot stage fifty five in here. Cause that also helps because we're in the desert. But let's go out to the desert really quick. So take a look at it now. We're at loot stage forty three. So. If you're kind of building a horde base, guys, like, you know, I do recommend, like, if you want some better loot out of the, out of the place, you know, go for a, you know, try and go for a good, uh, try for, try for, like, a three-star or something like that, and, you know, like, if you can help it. So, I'm gonna just kind of start building a whole bunch of stuff here, but it is going to be similar to the first iteration of the horde base. We might have it linked up on the back porch here. But it'll be one of those that's a... Be more smartly built and... And you never know, might be able to get some concrete going, like, on this better, but... It's really just kind of one of those, like... Build, to build smarter, not harder. Oh. Of course I'm, of course I'm running out of frames everything but it's gonna be kind of a similar concept so I'm gonna fast forward through this for you though and I will and I'll kind of show you the, the finished product once it's done Alright folks, so I'm gonna stop the time lapse here because it's coming up on night time, but I'm also starving, but you can see like the basics of what I'm doing here for a horde base. It it's coming it's starting to come together like Um I do have I do plan on having it come together for you know, like a building and I just need to make sure I feed myself here because my character turns through food like there's no tomorrow but there we are so basically it's gonna have like more of a kind of like a split path and it'll have the same kind of staircase uh, thing that I'm doing I have to break a I have to break a little bit of uh, pathing out for it and There we go. Thankfully, doing that. Yeah, it's basically gonna be like a, very much a 
kind of design where it's like kind of split the split the path a little bit. Don't mind the growling in the stomach. Uh, not gonna worry about the vulture right now, but it'll basically kind of be a how do you say a you go into shape menus here. We'll go into I want to do we'll do like a kind of a, a dual pathing kind of thing. It'll be let me see like I'll get it started out overnight for you folks and I'll show you like the progress on this so once morning comes in because that's good like so leaving you on a bit of a cliffhanger but uh if you made it this far into the episode and you like what you see and you uh want to see more from me please leave a like comment subscribe down below and tell me your thoughts like uh and also please turn on notifications because that will because that way you don't miss a video from me have a good one and take care